In the last year, our world has experienced great upheaval. A growing crisis in food insecurity, record heat, floods, and droughts, COVID-19, inflation, and a brutal, needless war. A war chosen by one man, to be very blunt. Let us speak plainly. A permanent member of the United Nations Security Council invaded its neighbor, attempted to erase a sovereign state from the map. Russia has shamelessly violated the core tenets of the United Nations Charter. No more important than the clear prohibition against countries taking the territory of their neighbor by force. Again, just today, President Putin has made overt nuclear threats against Europe in a reckless disregard for the responsibilities of the non-proliferation regime. Now, Russia is calling, calling up more soldiers to join the fight, and the Kremlin is organizing a sham referenda to try to annex parts of Ukraine, an extremely <coughs> significant violation of the UN Charter. This world should see these outrageous acts for what they are. Putin claims he had to act because Russia was threatened. But no one threatened Russia, and no one other than Russia sought conflict. Putin's own words make his true purpose unmistakable. Just before he invaded, Putin asserted, and now we see attacks on schools, railway stations, hospitals, one on centers of Ukrainian history and culture. In the past, even more horrifying evidence of Russia's atrocity and war crimes. Mass graves uncovered in Izium. Bodies, according to those who um, excavated those bodies, showing signs of torture. This war is about extinguishing Ukraine's right to exist as a state, plain and simple, and Ukraine's right to exist as a people. Whoever you are, wherever you live, whatever you believe, that should not — that should make your blood run cold. That's why 141 nations in the General Assembly came together and not to unequivocally condemn Russia's war against Ukraine. The United States is also working closely with our allies and partners to impose costs on Russia. Like you, the United States wants this war to end on just terms, on terms we all signed up for, that you cannot seize a nation's territory by force, that the only country standing in the way of that is Russia. So we, each of us in this body, who is determined to uphold the principles and beliefs we pledge to defend as members of the United Nations, must be clear, firm, and unwavering in our resolve. Ukraine has the same rights that belong to every sovereign nation. We will stand in solidarity with Ukraine. We will stand in solidarity against Russia's aggression, period. And none too soon, we don't have much time.